Hey, 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 y'all, what's up? It's your girl, Sid, and welcome, welcome, welcome. We are going to check out the Omni Tool, the newer versions of the Basic Transfer and Advanced Transfer of the Omni Tool specifically. So, I am on one of my single players right now, just so I can show you guys the ins and outs. First, open the Omni Tool up. It's going to come up when you first click on it. It's going to give you info. If, it, if you read here, it says to hit R if you're on the PC using the keyboard, and it will give you the actual thing, which is your little rotating thing to select whatever you want. Again, we're going to cover basic transfer and advanced transfer in this video. Basic transfer is very easy. Just select basic transfer. I do have to climb down because I guess I do have to get somewhere. So let's say we're going to take all the stuff from, I know, do it from the cooker here. So I'm going to select it, which is right clicking. I right click to select and I'm going to put in there. So now if I go over here to my cooker, I have nothing in my cooker. I did have a whole bunch of meat. If you saw, I didn't open it, but if you saw, there was quite a bit of stuff in there. Now I did pull the charcoal out, which I don't want in there, and I pulled the wood out. But you see all the cooked meat and stuff, that, and the bunch of the spoiled meat is what I just transferred into there. Let's see, or if we look in here, you see we have a whole bunch of stuff. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna right click on there, and my resources is here, right? Yeah, that's my resources, so I'm gonna left click, and then if we go back, it said if you saw at the top, it said five items transferred, everything's out of there. Now, the advanced transfer. She's a little bit different. The advanced transfer, again, I'm going to hold R. I'm going to select advanced transfer. I'm going to left click, and it comes up the same way. So let's, do I have anything in my inventory? Okay, so we're going to move the feathers, thatch, wood, charcoal, and fiber out of my inventory. So say I'm out gathering and I'm wanting to move these items. So I know I have thatch, feathers, um, it wasn't regular thatch though. I don't, it might not catch that, or no, it was regular thatch, it wasn't regular fiber. So I know I had some fiber, I don't know which one I have, so we're just going to say that. I had some wood and I had some charcoal. And I'm going to want to put it, we're just going to put it in the, well, the large storage box. I think I only have one. So we're going to hit transfer. And it says that it removed all those things from me. Take that out of my pocket, or out of my hand. I think I did only have one. Yeah. So it took it all out of my inventory. And it put everything into here. Now let's say we did have two or three of these. We would make sure you rename them whatever you want it to be. So that's resources. So let's just grab something out of here. So I'm out collecting stone and wood and thatch and all that stuff and flint. So maybe I want an actual preset. So I'm going to set me a preset. I think I do already have one. I do. So I got one for one. Do I have one on two? So I'm going to show you guys how to make one. 
Okay, so there's nothing on four. So I'm going to click on whatever preset I want this to be. I'm going to make this preset to be from me. We're going to move flint. Let's say we're doing stone because I'm out harvesting, right? And then, you know, whatever else you want in the list. And then you're going to want it to go to whatever box you're des or wherever you're designating it to go. Mine's large storage box. I want to make sure it goes to resources. So I want to make sure it goes to that particular box. And then I would just hit save. So it saves the preset. So if I go to five, there's my five. Go back to four. Look, there's my four. It's there. I can just hit transfer. And it moved everything out of my pocket. So. Look, I have, that's my, when I'm out gathering, my wood, stone, thatch, metal, and flint. So when I'm out about, and it will go to my large storage box. I think I even have boxes on my boats and stuff like that. So I'm out. I can make it go to the specific boat or the specific uh, item in my boat. You just have to make sure you have whatever box you're trying to get it to go to. You have that programmed into you, either your preset or you just state it whenever you're making a transfer. That is the same way if you're doing transfers to dinos. So if I want it to go like for me, then I can pick a specific dino, like I want my dodos to have. Or maybe I'm gonna go all structures and I want my dodos to have a specific type of berry. Um, I'm gonna give them all the tinto berries. Because why the heck not? So I'm going to transfer all those Tinto Berries to all the Dodos. And I hit transfer. It did it. Now if I go out here to my Dodos, you're going to see that it was split evenly amongst all your Dodos. So I'll open up that Dodo. He has 144. 144. Oh, yeah. So it's going to be, you know, they're all going to have about the same amount of berries, give or take, you know, if it's an odd number for transferring purposes. But that is, I believe, all the features of the advanced transfer. That's how to set presets, how to transfer stuff between you or other structures, and it will show everything up. This is really helpful. Say, if you die somewhere and you can't get to your body, you know, the creature ate your body, you've got an item cache. You do have to be a bag. If you're a body, you cannot get stuff from your body. But if you hit the button, there's usually an item cache listed. And you can transfer the stuff from the item cache to yourself. So as long as there is an item cache of sorts. Where like, let's see, I'm going to drop everything. That will be an item cache. Let's get out of my inventory. So I now have nothing in my pocket. I have an item cache there. So I'm going to select the item cache, which I think is over here. Is it not? Am I missing it? Yeah, no, item there, item cache. So it's one of your top, it's with your stuff. And I'm just going to click everything because I don't know exactly what's in it. If you're out and about, it'll just have whatever's near you. So it's not going to have everything in the game. I'm just selecting everything because I don't know what else is in the item cache. Because this is again an assist in an in an instance that you cannot get to your item cache. Okay, there's a lot of stuff in this area. Okay, we're gonna call that enough. I'll just grab everything if I didn't grab it. So I'm gonna make it come to me, hit transfer, and it will have pulled up anything. It must have been everything that was in there because the cash is gone. So now I have all my stuff back in my pocket. So that is all the features of the Omni, well, of the basic transfer and advanced transfer on the Omni tool. It is a very, very, very useful tool. 
in the game because again if you can't reach your body say it's being guarded by a bunch of spinos or a giga or whatever but you can get close enough to actually see it in your list for the source grab it you know grab it and go all you have to do is get a couple of thatch i think one thatch to make the thing and you're good to go so it's very very useful you should always you know i use it when i'm out and about like i said doing um harvesting so I don't get weighed down. I just make sure I have a box close by so I can move the stuff over to it. You can move it, uh, or use it to move, um, say you grab a stack of thatch out of your resources and you want it split evenly amongst three or four um, compost bins. Just do the transfer from yourself to the compost bin and it will automatically divide it up between the bins. Um, it makes it much easier. That way you don't have to unstack it and it's just quick click click and done so that should just about cover it with our omni tool with the basic and the advanced transfer features i hope that gives you guys a little bit more how to hope you guys can become more familiar with it it is a great tool i use it all the time if you watch any of space pandas um videos or um her streams I'm always in there going, um, grab your Omni tool, grab your Omni tool. I, I'm, I'm horrible. I, I remind her a lot because it is a great t tool to have. Um, if, if you got the mod and you, you know, you're using it, you must actually use the tools that are within the mod. Otherwise, what are you doing? So if you like what you see, see what you like, please give us a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe. And until next time, guys, bye-bye.